Hello everyone, my name is Bo Nanzu from University College London. I'd like to introduce the plugin I wrote to interface AIDA with a PlanWave DFD code called CastApp. Um, the work was mostly done while I was a PhD, PhD student at University of Cambridge. CastApp is a full-featured uh, DFT code using PlanWave basic set and pseudo potentials. Uh, it's written in Fortran. Um, and uh, it has loads of functionalities, different kinds of uh, exchange correlation functionals. It does geometry optimization, it does phonons, it does NMR and, and optics, and many others. Uh, commercially, it's distributed by Dassault Systems as part of uh, the BioVia Materials Studio. Uh, but for academic use, there's a cost free license. Um, which was previously limited to UK academics, but now is open to the worldwide community. Uh, so you can learn more at the official website. So before we go into the details of the plugin, I just want to sort of highlight some uh, design choice of CastApp, which was um, also influenced uh, the plugin's implementation. So CastApp is a single binary executable uh, program. So use the same executable for all kinds of functionalities, uh, different kinds of uh, calculations and tasks. Um, that uh, executable also has a built-in help system, uh, which is quite nice. Um, it it uses uh, on-the-fly generated pseudo potentials rather than sort of uh, taking external pseudo potential files. Although you can supply external pseudo potentials if that's required, um, it has quite good uh, geometry optimization routines. Uh, as part of my research, I do random structure searching using CastApp. So essentially, I throw lots of uh, randomly generated structure um, to CastApp, and it still gives me good answers. Uh, these structures are far from minimum, and the optimization is relatively efficient. Uh, CastApp also handles parallelization automatically, so you don't have to sort of worry about uh, splitting k points into integer groups. Uh, that kind of thing. Uh, it also does some uh, built-in workflow uh, just to make the life easier for the user. So, for example, the band structure is a single calculation in CastApp, uh, though behind the scene it's actually doing two, uh, but it appears to be one. Uh, it also does uh, checking for the forces before sort of doing a phonon calculation, just to make sure the results are sort of scientifically uh, sound. Also, the, it can do dry runs. So, for example, you can do a dry run to uh, estimate memory usage and number of K points before you sort of submit a large calculation to make full use of the resources. Going back to the design of the plugin, so uh, the plugin does not try to reinvent the wheel. So, most of the plan with DFT code has very similar key point uh, key inputs, so K points, parameters, to the potentials, etc. So the initial design of the plugin was uh, influenced by AIDA Quantum Espresso. Um, that was quite a while ago. Uh, so the plugin is designed as a general interface for, for running all kinds of calculations. So any cast app calculation can be run through the plugin. Although the plugin does not try to parse all output data, uh, so but it will try to uh, keep track of the important ones, such as the forces, the energies, and the stress, and trajectory, etc. The plugin also tries to keep as much uh, provenance as it can, and it defaults to retrieve all sort of key outputs. So what is implemented in plugin? The plugin has uh, a general interface for running calculations, castapp.castapp under aida.calculations. Uh, there are also some sort of more task-specific calculations, although they are just essentially uh, the same calculation but taking additional k points. Uh, it also has two additional data types uh, in the plugin. So USP data is the sort of CASTAB native format uh, pseudo potentials, uh, typically with suffix USP or REC port. Uh, but more often, uh, I use on-the-fly generated pseudo potentials. Uh, these are just essentially uh, strings for generation settings. Uh, and actually, uh, most of the time, I can just use the internal library. So, so for example, this this string C19 is a reference to the to the internal library. The plugin also has some command line uh, tools. Uh, so, castapp USP and OTFGs are just for generating pseudo potential families. So, a family is essentially a mapping from an element to a specific set of pseudo potentials. So you don't have to worry about um, sort of using the wrong pseudo potentials for your calculations. Um, so the helper command uh, is used for extracting uh, help information from the executable. Uh, 
and these help information can be used uh, for checking the input, say, for any uh, spelling mistakes or sort of uh, in sort of incompatibility can be checked. Um, and also, if the executable is not locally installed, you can still use the saved help information to access the help. So here is an example input of, of CASTAP. So CASTAP actually takes two input files. So normally the inputs are either this sort of block-like or just key value pairs. So in the plugin, uh, input looks like this. So this consists of uh, sort of a, a dictionary uh, of different keyword and values. Sort of they are nested into pram and cell. So just to mirror the, the normal input file structure. So the two different files. Uh, And uh, the pseudo potentials can be a mixture of uh, UF, UTF data, USB data, or OTFG data. So you have like different options there. Um, so like I said, using the, the help information extracted from the executable, the, the, these inputs are always checked. And some incompatible keywords combination can be detected. For example, if you request, say, both the percentage for extra bands or the exact number of extra bands, so that's definitely not going to work. So the, the plugin will catch such mistake. Um, the plugin also tries to set the time limit. So you, you do a, a calculation in AIDA, you, you request uh, normally a wall time limit. So those will be uh, used uh, by the plugin for generating input files, including those wall time limits. So CASTAP uh, will try to terminate itself gracefully before the time runs out. So here is an example of uh, a calculation. Uh, so this is a sort of a single single point uh, calculation for silicon. Uh, so you have these input nodes to this calculation, which finished with x equal zero, and it generates these outputs. So uh, the common output that gets parsed is this uh, dictionary node, uh, which contains some sort of uh, key information, such as uh, the uh, uh, the energy, uh, the, the symmetry, uh, the pseudo potential used, um, and also uh, some runtime statistics, statistics such as the, the total time. Um, and uh, for sort of uh, more specific tasks, for example, if for geometry optimization, the plugin will also generate uh, sort of trajectories and the output structure node. Um, the plugin also includes some built in workflows. CASTAP.base is, uh, is essentially the, the wrapper for the calc job. So it has an easy to use interface for setting up calculations. For example, you can just use a simple um, family name for the pseudo potentials, or you can use a flat dictionary for the parameters. Um, it also ensures calculation is finished and uh, tries to recover from some common problems, for example, SDF convergence, which it will try to recover by lowering the density mixing amplitude. or is, or there are, can be some problems with the wall time, so the blockchain will try to recover that and increase the wall time limit if that's possible. Um, the other blockchain uh, in the calculation, uh, sorry, in the plugin is castup.relax. So it takes care, cares of uh, geometry optimization and internally it will just repeatedly launch castup.base blockchain until the structure is fully relaxed. And optionally, it can use the wave functions or charge density as the the input for future calculations uh, just to speed up the, the first cycle. And more specific uh, workflows for different properties can be implemented using these two building blocks. So here is, is an example of uh, recovering from the wall time limit. So here, um, this is a relaxation which caused this base work chain and then caused this uh, cast app calculation, uh, but it hits uh, a wall time limit uh, giving uh, exit code 107. So the work chain launch another calculation taking the output uh, checkpoint file, uh, which is uh, in this uh, remote data node uh, to, the, to the next calculation. This is an uh, example of the relaxation workflow. So you just keep launching multiple uh, cast out base work chain uh, to relax the structure until it's fully converged. So it's also interesting to know that uh, uh, these calculations are actually completed without error. So that's because the uh, user has set a, a limit of the number of cycles to perform uh, each calculation. Uh, so that means if anything goes wrong in this long process, um, 
for example, there was a failure of the machine or some like random uh, desk uh, problem uh, uh, resulting a failure. So in that case, uh, the built-in catching mechanism in AIDA can be used to fast forward calculation in the next, uh, in, the, in, in a relaunch of the relaxation to the latest calculation. So here is a more complex example of a sort of a specific uh, workflow for a specific task. So here I start from a, a probe sky structure. I do a relaxation and I distort octahedron and perform constrained uh, relaxations. Um, so the actual uh, work chain node controlling the whole process is here. So first it does the initial relaxation, but it ran into some SDF problem here, as you can see, but the base work chain recovered it and carried on. Uh, and finally, it generated the relaxed structure, and which is used as the input for generating different distortions. And these distortions are relaxed further uh, by, by uh, actual uh, relaxation work chains. So actually, these are all done in parallel. Uh, and finally, the results uh, is here. So to summarize, uh, cast type calculations can now be run through uh, AIDA to leverage the provenance preservation and automation. Uh, the plugin also simplifies the process of preparing calculation inputs and also checks for any possible mistakes before sub submitting any calculation. Um, and the built-in uh, implementation of some basic but uh, robust workflows uh, can be used for building more complex uh, sort of workflows for uh, specific uh, investigations. If you want to learn more, uh, here is the home page of the project and the, the documentation can be found on uh, read the docs. Um, to get a cost-free academic license, you can go to the official website of CASTAP and uh, follow the instructions there. Thank you for your attention.